Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this simple problem. We have x raised to the power of 4 equal to negative 4. But wait, do we have any real number that can be raised on to an even exponent and the result will be negative? There is no such number. Therefore x must be a complex number. And since we have a power of 4 we should expect 4 answers, right? So we are going to obtain four complex numbers let's go ahead and find them um, to the right hand side we have negative four uh, you should know that negative four can be written as negative one multiplied by four and in the complex world negative one is the same thing as i squared therefore we can rewrite this equation as x raised to the power of four equal to negative one times four and negative one is i squared so we have i squared multiplied by four and four is the same thing as two squared right and you should also know that x raised to the power of 4 can be written as x squared raised to the power of 2 again if you simplify this you shall obtain x to the power of 4 this is equal to because we have common exponents we can multiply the basis i times 2 is 2i then you raise them to the power of 2 now let me bring this term to the left hand side we have x squared all to the power of 2 minus 2i raised to the power of 2 and this is equal to 0. This is now difference of two squares that can be factorized as you take the base without exponent that is x squared here then you subtract 2i then you multiply you take x squared again this time around you add 2i and the whole of this equal to 0. Now we have two factors multiplying each other and the result is 0 which implies that either of the factors must be 0. So we're going to set x squared minus 2i to be equal to 0 or x squared plus 2i to be equal to 0. Now let us solve the two equations separately. Here we have x squared to be equal to positive 2i if negative 2i crosses over equality sign. And the other side we have x squared equal to negative 2i if positive 2i crosses over the equality sign. So we can take square root of both sides. From here we have x equal to, don't forget plus or minus, then we have square root of what? 2i. The same thing here. We have x equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 2i. And according to sort, we can separate this, right? So we have x equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of i. Square root of 2 remains square root of 2. But what about square root of i? Remember in one of our previous lessons, we have seen how to find the square root of i, which is the same thing as root 2 divided by 2 plus root 2 divided by 2i. Maybe I will drop the link to that video. So x will now be equal to plus or minus root 2 multiplied by root 2 divided by 2 plus root 2 divided by 2i. Therefore, x could be equal to positive root 2 distribute over root 2 divided by 2 plus root 2 divided by 2i or you take the other one x equal to negative root 2 you distribute it over root 2 divided by 2 plus root 2 divided by 2i let's simplify this first if we take root 2 and multiply by root 2 here we have root 4 which is just 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1 Therefore, x equal to 1 plus root 2 times root 2 is root 4, which is 2 divided by 2 is 1 times i. We have i. So this is one of the solutions. Then here, if we take negative root 2 multiplied by positive root 2, we have negative root 4, which is negative root 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So x equal to negative 1. Take it again, this multiplied by this will give us what? Negative 1 times i is negative i. Two solutions so far. 
Then let us move back to that other equation. This is x equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 1. Multiply by the square root of 2. Multiply by the square root of i. x equal to plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i. So we have i multiplied by root 2 multiplied by, remember that this is what root 2 divided by 2 plus root 2 divided by 2i. So we have root 2 divided by 2 plus root 2 divided by 2i. Um, so if you multiply this together, you have root 2i. So x equal to plus or minus root 2i. Then multiply by the whole of this root 2 divided by 2 plus root 2 divided by 2i. So we're going to have two solutions here. You take the positive root 2i and distribute it over this. So let me start with that one. x equal to root 2i distributed over root 2 over 2 plus root 2 over 2i. Then if you take the second one, which is negative, negative root 2 i over the whole of this root 2 over 2 plus root 2 over 2 i. If you take this, you multiply by this. Remember, you're going to obtain 1. But because of that i, we have i. Plus, you move to the next one. If you take root 2 and multiply by root 2 divided by 2, you're going to get 1. So we only have i times i, which is i squared. And i squared is negative 1. Therefore, we're going to have negative 1 here. And you know you can write it as what? Negative 1 plus i because that is the standard way of writing it. You write the real number before the imaginary number. So we have negative 1 plus i. Then moving to the second one, take root 2 and multiply by root 2 divided by 2. Remember you're going to get 1. But times negative i will give us what? Negative i. So x equal to, I would like to write the negative i to the right. Then I will write the real number here. Then take this again. You multiply by this. You are going to obtain 1 times the negative sign. will give us negative 1. Remember that negative 1. Keep it aside. Then i times i will give us what? i squared. And i squared is negative 1. If you times it by this negative 1, you have positive 1. So we have 1 minus i. Let me write it properly. 1 minus i. 1 minus i. If you observe, all of these four complex numbers are different. And another thing you should observe is that this and this are conjugate of each other. Likewise, this and this are said to be the conjugate of each other. So even if you obtain one solution, if it is a complex number, you should know that its conjugate will also be a solution. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to find the same problem using the Moebius theorem. So an assignment for you, because we have seen that x equal to these four complex numbers. Just take any of this, because we have x to the power of 4, and we learned that this is equal to negative 4. Take any of this and raise it to the power of 4 and see whether you're going to get negative 4 to the right-hand side. That is an assignment for you. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.